Ready to solve this 2025 PSLE math question on volume? We have a solid made up of tiny unit cubes. What is this solid? It's a cuboid. Let's add in some lines to help us see the insides better. All the surfaces, including the square base, are painted blue. So imagine the top of this, the four sides around it, and the bottom, in blue. Given that there are 68 unit cubes with two painted faces, find the volume of the solid. Do you know how to do that? In case any of you are wondering what a unit cube is, it's just a simple little cube with a length, breadth, and height of 1 cm. Now let's recall how to find the volume of the cuboid. To do that, we can multiply its length by its breadth by its height, agree? But the thing is, we're only given the height of the cuboid in this problem. What's the length and breadth? We don't know. The good news is, we have two clues. The first clue is that the height of the cuboid is 9 centimeters. The second one is that there are 68 cubes with two painted faces in this cuboid. Let's try to use the number of cubes to help us find the missing length and breadth of the cuboid. Remember, we're only interested to find all the cubes with two painted faces. Let's look at the cubes along this side of the height. How many of them have two painted faces? Since the height is 9 cm, we can stack 9 cubes from the bottom to the top and it would fit perfectly. But how many of these have two painted faces? Let's start with the cube on top. How many painted faces do you think it has? If we were to paint all the surfaces of the cuboid, the top, the side, and the back of this cube will be painted. So this cube will have three painted faces. This is not what we want. What about the cube at the bottom? The side, the back, and the bottom of the cube will be painted. This cube also has three painted faces, so this is not counted either. Next, let's look at the cubes in between these two cubes. Let's use this cube as an example. When we paint all the surfaces of this cuboid, can you see that this side of the cube and its back will be painted? This will be the same for all the other cubes in between. How many cubes are there in between? When we subtract the top cube and the bottom cube from 9, 9 minus 2 is 7. This will be the same for all four corners. Let's multiply the number of cubes with two painted faces by 4, since the cuboid has four corners. 7 times 4 is 28. Great! We found 28 cubes, but where are the rest hiding? Let's see how many more remaining cubes there are. 68 minus 28 is 40. We'll still need to find 40 more cubes. Let's look at the cubes in between the corner cubes at the top layer. Picture this cube on the right. What do you notice? Can you see that the top of this cube will be painted and so will one of its side? That's two painted faces. This will be the same for all the cubes that are in between these two corner cubes. What about this cube at the back? The top of this cube will be painted and so will its back. This will be the same for all the cubes that are in between these two corner cubes. If we were to look at this cube on the left and this cube that's right in front, we'll find that they have two painted faces too. Now we can safely say that all the cubes in between the corner cubes on the top will have two painted faces. Since the cuboid has a square base, this means that the number of cubes that make up the length and breadth of the top layer will be the same. Besides the top layer, where else can we find cubes with two painted faces? Did you think of the bottom layer? Good job if you thought of that. The cubes in between the corner cubes at the bottom will also have two painted faces. For example, this cube will have its front and bottom side painted. This cube will have one of its side and bottom painted. This cube will have one of its other side and bottom painted. And this cube will have its back and bottom painted. So far, so good? What about the cubes that are in the center of the cuboid on each side? These cubes only have one painted face. The rest of the faces are being hidden in the body of the cuboid. So those are out. 
Now we're ready to divide the remaining 40 cubes by these 8 sides to find how many cubes there are on one side. 40 divided by 8 is 5. We have 5 cubes in between the corner cubes on each side. This is exactly what we need to know to find the answer to this problem. Remember the volume of cuboid formula? Length times breadth times height? Before you get too excited and start multiplying 5 by 5 by 9, don't forget that 5 is not the length nor the breadth of the cuboid. We need to add the corner cubes. Each side has a total of 5 plus 2, 7 cubes. It's now the moment that we've all been waiting for. What's the volume of the solid? When we multiply 7 by 7 by 9, we get a volume of 441 cubic centimeters. How fast did it take you to solve this?